and working together as a team has been excellent and it's great to see the military get involved and I hope we get involved a lot more. Um, Giles, just a, just a final word from you. I mean, I, I have seen stories like this involving different outside expertise before. Didn't, didn't I think, sure, surgeons, uh, I think it was a great Ormond Street Hospital, brought in Formula One to try and speed up their kind of triage processes and so on. What, what is it about those of you who go by Mr and not Doctor that means you're quite happy to take, you know, some advice fr from outside the profession? Well, contrary to popular belief, we're not all arrogant, self-centred megalomaniacs, <laughs> actually. Uh, we're, we're, quite, we're, we're quite happy to take advice um, from other people. Typically, surgeons are innovators, and uh, they do love new tech. They like trying to push the boundaries, really, to get the best of the care for their patients at the end of the day. We love working in a team. We've got, you know, here in Oxford, I've got fantastic anaesthetists, scrub staff. Everybody comes together. And ultimately, we're looking for a solution that satisfies everybody, not just the surgeon. And that often means going to Formula One, going to outside services, in this case, the military. And, and I have to say, just a fantastic bunch of people to work with. It's, yeah. a, it's, a great, it's a great opportunity, you know? I've got to say, if there's ever going to be a paintball competition, however, between Sean's lot and your lot, Giles, I, I, I know who's my, who, who I'm putting my money. Um, it is a fantastic idea. It, I, wonderful to see it being brought to, to fruition in this fashion. Uh, Sean, Giles, really appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Now, when